My name is Robert Dewan Greger. I'm from the Isle of Man and I'm at UCLan studying counselling and psychotherapy studies. I'm um, 24 and I'm in my second year. I've been horse riding since I was four years old, um, so two decades of that, and that's a very big part of my life and part of the equestrian society. Uh, we ride out at Darwin every Wednesday. Um, I don't compete with them, but I have competed for the Riding for the Disabled Association in the past. I dabble in a little bit of acoustic guitar. Um, the Isle of Man is a Celtic nation in its own right, so I tend to play a few folk ditties. I enjoy naturally taking the dog out for walks and going out into the countryside. My eyesight condition is called retinitis pigmentosa. Um, I was diagnosed at the age of seven. Between seven and 17, I um, had ever decreasing tunnel vision. At the age of 17, I lost vision in my right eye. I'm 24 now and I can see where certain lights are, spots of light are in a lecture theater but I can't see people all blows into a yellow fog. Um, up until the age of 20, I was using a white cane, um, a long mobility cane. I'd been on the list for a guide dog for two and a half years, um, and it was three days after my 20th birthday I met my first guide dog, Wilma. She was a um, full retriever, gorgeous little dog. She was here last year. Unfortunately, last March, she um, developed pancreatic cancer and had to retire. So this, down to down there, um, she's guide dog mark two, and uh, she's called Angel, or Angel Cake, Angel Face, Cake Face. Asbo, I also refer to her as um, Hound Beast Animal, they all work. She's an absolute little star. She's two and a half. Um, guide dogs are usually trained just around their second birthday and trained up with an owner. Um, so I've been working with her since July, so just over six months now. And uh, she's loving life in Preston. Um, yeah, she knows her way up to um, Harrington and Brook, which are our main lecture buildings. Knows her way downtown. Um, she's doing really well. Angel's personality is completely different to Wilma's. Um, I, I have ADHD, so there are times in my life where my mind runs a million miles a second and the matching with Wilma was so perfect because Wilma was calm, she was placid, she was very much refined and very much a lady. Um, she's a complete enough to contrast to Asbo down here. Um, when Angel is kind of not being a guide dog, when she's having her free time, she's just absolutely full of beans but she is the smartest little button going. If I take a toy off Angel, I have to lock it in a cupboard because she looks at it and I, my mum can see that she can see it in her eyes and in her little face. She's thinking and calculating how to get to that toy. Um, she figures out how to bust open stair gates and things like that. Um, and she's just, she's just such a clever little dog and she's very much a water dog, so she spots the biggest, muddiest puddle and heads straight for it. <laughs> the university have been absolutely perfect. I can't fault the university. I came to an applicant today here um, and I was in Foster Building and I don't know who exactly it was that we were talking to, um, but we were kind of talking to them and I kind of said, blah, 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 guide dog. And they said, we will move a spending pen to your halls of residence. Oh, that's perfect, I said will there be somebody on hand to help me clear up after her? And she said, no, grand staff will do that for you. Um, which was absolutely, it was fantastic. They had all the answers, they knew all the questions. With the other universities I applied to, I'd always was a sense of, yes, we will do that. UCLan just sat there and went, we've already done it, we'll do it again. And my lecturers, they were all quite happy to see me and Angel sat there in lessons. They engage with me fully. Um, all of my um, all of my peers on the course respect the general rules with guide dogs, and those are that when she's wearing her reflective harness, that she is working, and that is her in working mode, and that is her keeping me safe. And if people come up to her and stroke her and cuddle her or call her a tweeter while she's working, that then makes me unsafe. She always has to keep her eye on the ball and. I would really appreciate it if people just kind of look from afar, unless she is, she's a little stunner, 
Um, I can't deny people having a bit of a look and a coup, but um, yeah, it's just it's one of those things that you should never really talk to a guide dog whilst they're in harness. Um, even if we're just stood around looking idle, coming up and fussing her teaches her that she can do that in the high street. But it's always nice if, if we are looking idle, it's always nice if people come up and ask though if they say, can we say hello to the dog? Um, that's absolutely grand. Nine out of ten times I'll unhitch the harness and people can have a bit of a cuddle because it's nice for her, it's nice for them. It gets us all talking about disability, which is, yeah, it's a big passion of mine. I think we need to talk about disability more often.